set for action and it looks as though we are about to get underway two superstars lock up another exclusive matchup for Coliseum video they're ready to get down to business yes I was impressed very much so by their attitude going into this match they both said that they're going to give all their all and uh, I'm certainly looking forward to that one it was my mind and everybody else's mind too first they move in collar and elbow and boy, this crowd, they've been waiting for this encounter all night. We've got the power and skill. Yes, and his feet and foot too. Don't forget that because speed is a very, very important factor in this particular match. Doesn't he look confident? This is going to be some battle, I think, going out for base. He certainly knows how to strike most effectively. He may be in for a rude awakening here. Oh, I don't know so much, though. He certainly knows what he's doing, Sean. Well, two very interesting styles meeting head-to-head -head here. Two very gifted superstars. And I think that uh, they are going to have to use every tech. Yes, in their vast vocabulary of wrestling moves. Yes, some not even in the book. And one of Ace, both superstars, very cautious at this point. They are indeed. One thing they've got to do, they've got to pace themselves. There's no getting on the outside and having a little respite for two or three minutes. You've got to be in there the whole time. And one of the most important keys to success is being able to pace yourself correctly. You know, both do their homework very, very thoroughly on their opposition. So obviously they've looked, reviewed tapes, probably Coliseum tapes at that, to see how each was fair. So we've got a great matchup here. Indeed we have. <laughs> <laughs> Took a long way to get there, but I think uh, we made our point. Absolutely. Well, I have a feeling that uh, this is one encounter that is going to get a bit wild. See Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby the Brain Heenan. They're doing a special broadcast this evening, Your Lordship, the Armed Forces Network. That's very kind of them, <laughs> but I'm still sure that Bobby Heenan gets paid for it. Yeah, I was going to say, it was the charitable move on the brains part. Yeah, then Grillo's not far behind him, you know, and he likes a few pants in the pocket too. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, he never picks up a tag if you go out three. Good job. Good job. What a great match, too. An exclusive encounter for Coliseum Video. And I know for a fact, we are going to see some sparks in this battle. Yes, this is a plum of a match for Coliseum video. They really have, they really have excelled themselves with this exclusive. Surprised he wanted to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe there. He'd like to end this in a hurry. He certainly would. Oh. And after seeing the action we've seen so far, Dr. Hayes, uh, I'm going to make a prediction and say this is going to be tremendous exclusive matchup that is going to be included. Yes, I must have got this word, Sean. I don't always like to agree with you, but sometimes you don't get forced to. Alfred, uh, you arrived here earlier than I did, and I see you got some color to it. Yes, I was out on the beach. Uh, it was very nice there. So it's going to be a perfect day, because not only did you get out in the sun, you're going to see some uh, great World Wrestling Federation action. Yes, I saw all sorts of things but very nice day. on the edge of their seats here. And there is a clear example of the skill in the, the ring. He has worked very hard, spent a lot of hours in the squared circle, just practicing, perfecting his moves. And it's certainly paying off. Absolutely, Sean. The execution of those moves would be strong together. The timing was great. All the balance was correct. It shows you how he has, in your words, improved. And not only skilled, 
wrestling moves there. Also very skilled at uh, stretching the rules, shall we say. A little deviation from the rules there. Never hurt anybody, really. A very, very sneaky, crafty wrestler. Sometimes with the referee's back turn, he will uh, use some very, very dubious means. He has uh, very quickly scaled the ranks. He's definitely one of Lord Alfred Hayes, uh, one of the top contenders. I would have to go along with that, Sean, because definitely... Not that I admire or uh, really like the way he behaves in the ring. Good, like he's but as far as the skill, I'll go along with how you feel about superstars. Although it's tough for me at times. I have to think that their personal behavior is part of it. But in, when you just speak solely on skill, I would say he is definitely one of the best. Oh, that's very gracious of you. I'm sure that there are a few kind words to say to you, Sean. No, no, he never has a kind word to say. Oh, he doesn't? <laughs> well, he doesn't to me either, quite honestly. No, but that's for sure. Very nasty to Peter. Yes, he is. He's a killer. He really is. Isn't that nice to Peter? No, but they're in a man's world, in a man's sport, and they certainly are men. Or men are men. Yes, absolutely. He doesn't appear to have any weaknesses in his armor at all, though. He has great conditioning, Sean. He really is a superb man. You have to admire him. Yes. Who has shown us a lot of skills over the past. He's a very powerful performer, a very, very gifted wrestler. And I certainly know that inside the ring, this man is a very, very aggressive performer. And he certainly has chalked up a remarkable list of victories. We have seen him in the ring long enough to know that any time he can erupt and end an encounter. Great angle. About as close as I'd like to get to the action. Yes. In this case. And look at that shot. Well, our cameraman taking us right in the ring there. You were talking about great angles before. That was another good one. You cannot be closer to the action than that in the World Wrestling Federation. And that is surely a coup for Coliseum uh, Video. This is an exclusive matchup for Coliseum Video. As Coliseum Video cameras bring us in close. close to the yes, really. Good we have a good look at that. The battle continues. This capacity crowd is really getting an action-filled match here. And I, you know, Sean, I think the, uh, the fans here are finding it difficult who to really favor in this match. I think they're quite evenly divided on the two. Well, both sides giving everything they've got. And you can see just the edges of fatigue sneaking in. But as far as the action goes, it's just as furious as when the bell first sounded. They probably have every young girl in here cheering for them. With, with the fair maidens. Yes, I knew a fair maiden here once. More than the maiden was. A precious little girl. No, I don't know. No, no, no. No details. So no, you are in a real... <laughs> Drive mood today. That's that for sure. Really taking advantage of the situation now. Using everything he's got. I believe he's trying to step up the pace here. I think he's smelling for maybe a faster pace is more to his liking. A series of moves right there. Great moves and counter moves and counter counter moves. Yes. Nicely explained, Alfred. Yes, I don't think we're ever going to keep up with them, do you, Sean? Only in slow motion, I think. I'm sure please you're calling the play here. I can do it. Think about it. He never lets up. He certainly doesn't. Sees any opening, he goes right for it. He begins to dismantle. Yes. He is relentless, you're right, Sean. I like the choice of your word, there. Dismantle. And that's what he does. He takes you apart. Slow and calculating. Incredibly effective. You do uh, sometimes marvel at his courage. I mean, obviously, 
He's not only a great wrestler, but he does possess a great deal of grit. And obviously, resolution. Well, you clearly saw that. His intent on really destroying him. He's doing a good great. job of that right now. He rarely pays any attention to the referee as it is. He doesn't speak the same language as referees, that's for sure. Referee. Yes, I would. Time trying to keep things under control. A referee here has his hands full in this encounter. Both uh, involved in illegal tactics so far. Danny Davis getting a little fed up with this right now, trying to keep some sort of order. How difficult that is. You know, one thing these men have in common, both of them, is that as youngsters they played rugby. Really? Yes. Well, Lord Chip, I have to say that that is a uh, great sport. It is. I know that you can take a few games of rugby. I know people find that hard to believe, but I kind of stayed out of the end there and uh, wait until they pass me the ball and I would run in and touch it down. And... You're a little modest. I know that you campaigned in Great Britain and in Europe as a rugby man, one of the 15. Well, we've got two men battling it out right now. State impressor, is he not? Certainly is. He certainly has his wits about him at all times. And now you're seeing superb wrestling, and it's very, very best here by two complete masters. And look at this, bang, 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 it's like the shock exchange. <laughs> or a boxing match. Well, the action now is really fast and furious. Both climbing into tough gear. And I'm afraid that the referee is not equal, equal to that particular speed. He's just by himself, one man in the ring. Really not enough. Good hold of the reins at this point in this encounter. Seems rather delighted with what he's doing. Apparently he's accomplishing what he set out to do. Some great moves here. He's beginning to establish himself in this belt. He's beginning to dominate. And once he does this, he's a tremendously good front runner. And what a good situation our Coliseum cameraman had just in right in the corner. I would love to get another look at that. Sean, you're so right. When you said that just now, I was trying to think the last time I saw I can't remember ever, ever seeing this match before. So this game plan seems to be working. And those are good tactics indeed. He certainly knows how to pull things out of the bag. Very uncomfortable, but a great wrestler. His, uh, his language. Well, wait a minute, Lord yeah. Alfred Hayes. I'm going to tell you right, right now. I know that the this going to be a part of this exciting tape. You will listen to every moment. We're just going to hear what you just said. Well, that's what I'm going to give you the opportunity to retract that statement. I know. You said he was uncouth. Yes, he is uncouth. I don't want that. He, he rather takes a pride in the way he can handle uh, gutter language. I'm telling you, he rather likes that. Sometimes the things he says, well, you couldn't possibly say them on television or yeah, anywhere. Even so, it doesn't detract from what he does inside the ring. He is a superb wrestler. That in itself, showing all that tenacity and resolve, is a superb effort. Well, I would agree with that point, but considering what up the is just how formal you are and how much you believe in manners. It was a kind of point I was trying to get across. See, that's a nice move. He's certainly given an attitude adjustment. But few men can combat that move. How true. Sean, the, the heaviness of that blow and the crispness of its delivery, I don't care who you are, that was bound to really hurt you. Uh, I don't think too many individuals could have taken such a blow, but uh, there are some few who suffered a few broken noses. There's a lot of sinew in the nose, and it does tend to be a very flexible, especially if you've had it broken once or twice, and that can happen with close contact matches. I was in, I was involved in a you know a rather intense squash. Yes, it was uh, nailed by uh, Eric Slack.
Uh, but obviously you had the best uh, sergeants to put your own back. Oh, great. Sir, you can see. And it makes me awfully jealous, Tom, because you keep getting the nicest goals, while I seem to get those, well, not so nice. No, I think you put that very nicely. <laughs> Have you ever heard the term, uh, he has a little mileage, he's not on highway? I've never heard that, that's a reference to a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your kids are the Yeah, I thought you were. In a jocular mood, you are. Huh? <laughs> Sean, wasn't that a touching moment you and I observed in England a couple of months ago in Sheffield oh, Arena? Yes. Uh, I don't think it's uh, too difficult to remember, Your Lordship. Well, Lord Alfred Hayes, you have been in arenas all over the world where Hulk Hogan has come out and the crowd just goes insane. Yes, sir. Well, I think we experienced the same feeling at Sheffield Arena. I have to look up around the arena. Not one person moved from their seats. No. They didn't look for the exits. They sat there, stood up, cheering. It really was a moving moment. Yes, it was. Well, a number of moments. You should say. You spent some time in the little town. Yes, I did. A very nice little town tucked into the dales of Wiltshire. Very, very passive action. Death. This is really a fantastic contest. This match has been like flipping a coin from side to side as it's got on back and forth. You're right, Sean, it has turned things but pendulum has swung again. Break. And as you said before, this match has been backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards from that opening bell. A lot of quickness in this battle, Lord Alvarez. If you expect a pace like this, you can continue to tell the truth. Mixing up his attack. Good stop. Great tenacity being shown here. Very, very efficient wrestler. He knows exactly how to position himself inside the ring. Geographically is always correct with his moves. And that is what causes one, or enables one, to bring off a victory. He really is a superb wrestler. So graceful, so artistic. And to watch him in action is a pleasure indeed. A very hardy veteran of the ring. He knows some very, very good little moves that can really disarm you, but he's not having all his own way here. Clear example there, Lord Alfred Hayes. Yes. He's not going to beat him at that game. Maybe he knows something that we're not privy to. But that is always the hallmark of a great wrestler, which certainly is. Yes, as a matter of fact, Sean, he's just prolonging this because he's beginning to enjoy himself in the ring. He's doing what he does best, running in front. He's a, a great front runner as far as wrestling moves are concerned. And when he has a man in trouble like this, virtually no chance at all. I have to think now seriously of leaving my shoulders down for a count of three and trying to get out of this the honorable way. Uh, he who lives and runs away lives to fight another day. Shouldn't have hesitated, Alfred. No, he wasted some time there. And now he's flirting with a disqualification. He's coming awfully close indeed. And that has turned the referee's attention away from him. Jackson Dazenville cannot do that here in the ring. He is enjoying himself at this point. There's no need to hurry things up. You better go for the kill when you have the opportunity. <laughs> Absolutely right. You can't take those sort of risks. Very clear lessons. That's going to be pushed around. He does everything so well. I don't like to see him take chances like that, though. Well, we will see if it helps him out of this encounter. Certainly the drive is there. He refuses to be intimidated. Some vintage wrestling here by both men. Just absolutely superb being displayed by both of them. He's got the tables in his favor momentarily at the moment, but keeps coming back at him. So persistent, so persevering. His arsenal, his armory is so good in these circumstances. And in such perfect physical condition. Listen to this crowd, Alfred. Well, I can hardly hear myself here. They're making so much noise. But I think you can call this one match a wrestle fest. You crash. We are certainly getting a feast of action. Absolutely right, and I think a lot now depends upon the stamina and the durability. They're both practically out on their feet.
You've got to be careful here. Yes, that was a little premature there. He made a splendid uh, resurgence that he should have sort of halted it a little bit there, taken stock of the situation. But would imagine now any edge he gets, he's going to try for a, a quick victory. Trying to capitalize. Enraged though, has to make him pay for it dearly. Oh, he'll pay for that. And no worries. What is wrong with our referee here? He's having a tough time keeping control. We have seen tactics attempted before. They have not worked. Well, they are illegal tactics, and no matter how much uh, everybody here in this auditorium likes them, they were definitely illegal tactics, and the referee should reprimand them. And I suppose you're going to tell me, Sean, that that's all fair. Well, he got his attention. I really think that's a, a, a treacherous attack there, and the referee is at fault for allowing this to take place. The referee didn't see it. What? I don't know, but he really cannot call what he doesn't see. So this referee is doing a good job. He's doing exactly what is expected of him. Thank you for the correction, Mr. Lord. Sorry about that. <laughs> Still on the offense. And here's the hallmark of a good wrestler. When you find a weakness, stick with it. Come back to it time and time again. A good strategy just there. We're seeing a great display between these two superstars. I think a little frustration was beginning to show them. Russia, you have mentioned on occasion that anger can be a great disadvantage. It certainly can. It causes you to throw caution to the wind. It leaves you open for all sorts of counterattacks. However, in this instant, has been able to control that obvious anger and use it to his own advantage. I'm really surprised that uh, he's been able to pull himself together after those shattering blows. Really is a superb person. I take my hand off to him and just look how he takes it.